degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 33. And on the other end of the spectrum, the lowest temperature ever recorded in Europe was minus 58.1 degrees Celsius or minus 72.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Olá pessoal, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo desse canal. Nós somos cidadãos do terceiro mundo e nesse canal nós reagimos e aprendemos sobre o primeiro mundo. Nesse vídeo nós vamos reagir a 50 divertidos e interessantes fatos sobre a Europa. Portanto, aproveite a oportunidade, considere se inscrever em nosso canal, clique no gostei, compartilhe esse vídeo e faça mais sugestões nos comentários. Agora, vamos para a reação. Europe is a continent located entirely in the northern and eastern hemisphere. It is a continent of snow, sun, sea, castles and funny accents. It is rich in culture and history. So in this video we've created a list of 50 fun facts about this continent. Some interesting, some random and some completely bizarre. Let us know in the comments which ones you already knew and which ones surprised you. Because my name's Sam and you're watching The Geography Bible. Number 1. Moscow, Istanbul and London are the three most populated cities in Europe by urban area, with 17.7, 15.3 and 11.2 million respectively. By city limits population, however, Istanbul is the most populated, followed by Moscow and then London, with 15.3, 12.5 and 9 respectively. Number 2. The tallest building in Europe is in St. Petersburg in Russia. Soaring into the sky like a glass shard, the Lakhtar Center is a whopping 460 meters in height. There are 87 stories in total. For reference, it is not far off half the size of the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Number 3. English is the most spoken language on the continent, with 51% of the population being able to speak it as a first or second language. German comes in second at 32% and then French third at 26%. Number 4. Russia is the most populated country in Europe, as more than half of Russia's population is found in its European section, around 110 million in total. However, as mentioned earlier, Russia of course spans across Europe and Asia which is called Eurasia. For the country with the highest population that is purely in Europe, it will be Germany at just under 84 million. Number 5. Aquela informação é sobre as pessoas falarem mais de 50% da população falar inglês. É, será que é por conta daquilo que a gente vê que muitos são ensinados nas escolas? Eu acredito que sim. E eu acho que uh, esse fator é, de muitos países na Europa terem dois idiomas, né? É, pelo menos a impressão que eu tenho é que o inglês é praticamente o segundo idioma de vários países. Mas acho que isso vem de uma influência muito forte da Inglaterra. Acredito que a Inglaterra, por ser um, um país muito forte, tem um nome muito relevante, talvez isso fez com que as pessoas de outros países é, sentissem a necessidade de aprender esse idioma, devido a, 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 a forte presença que a Inglaterra tinha. Mas isso é apenas uma impressão que eu tenho e eu não tenho certeza. Se alguém souber, estiver assistindo, souber, deixa nos comentários para a gente saber. Caramba, isso é tanta gente sim falando em inglês, é difícil de The acreditar. geographical center point of Europe is a village named Pernuskes in Lithuania, located roughly 26 kilometers from its capital, Vilnius. Number 6. Europe is the second smallest continent in size, at just over 10 million kilometers squared, making it just larger than the United States, but just a third of the size of the continent of Africa. Number 7. Despite the continent being the second smallest by area, it has the third largest population, with around 748 million people. Number 8. Europe is entirely in the Northern Hemisphere, and most of the continent's landmass is in the Eastern Hemisphere. This is quite ironic, as the continent, along with America, is often referred to as the West. Number 9. North Cape is the most northern point on the European landmass. Punta de Tarifa in Spain is the most southern point. Cabo Daroco 
Porto in Portugal is the most western point. And finally, the most eastern point is actually undecided and is different depending on your definition of European borders. It lies somewhere in the Ural watershed. Number 10. European mammal fauna consists of 270 species, 78 of them endemic to Europe, 15% of them are threatened with extinction, and 27% have been identified as declining. Number 11. The most expensive house in Europe, and in fact the world, is Buckingham Palace, valued at just under $3 billion. It comprises of 775 rooms, 78 bathrooms, 92 offices, and 19 stator rooms. Number 12. At 19.5 million, London was the most visited city in Europe in 2019, pre-pandemic, making it the third most visited city in the world behind Hong Kong and Bangkok. Number 13. The three largest countries in Europe are Russia, Ukraine and France. The part of Russia that is found in Europe is bigger than any other country on the continent. Number 14. The smallest country in Europe, and in fact the world, is the Vatican City. It is the smallest both by land area and population. Number 15. Norway has 83,000 kilometers of coastline, the longest coastline in Europe and the second longest in the world, only behind Canada. Number 16. There are 24 official languages in Europe, but more like 200 languages that are actually spoken around the continent. Number 17. In 2019, seven of the top 10 most visited tourist attractions in the world were in Europe, the most visited being the Colosseum in Rome at 7.4 million visitors. Number 18. Liechtenstein, the fourth no, smallest the country in Europe, does not have an airport. It is also a double landlocked country, meaning it's landlocked and the countries surrounding it are also landlocked. Wow, são muitas informações e muitas coisas que a gente está vendo aqui. Eu realmente não fazia a mínima ideia. Mas é muito interessante a gente ver como a Europa é um continente realmente muito rico, com uma cultura muito forte. E as informações que a gente está vendo aqui são, são, são particularidades é, que somente a Europa tem. É isso realmente é incrível, porque nos mostra a diversidade que tem esse continente. É verdade. Eu, o que eu acho muito legal da Europa é... Um continente, né? Que e tem vários países, mas cada país me parece muito diferente um do outro. E a gente tem reagido a muitos países da Europa aqui e a gente vê a diferença em, é, entre eles. Eu acho muito louco, porque aqui na América do Sul a gente também tem vários países, mas a gente tem a nossa cultura é parecida. É, mas eu já vi pessoas falando que a cultura que é entre os outros países que falam espanhol, são mais próximos do que a nossa que fala português. Então, eu acho isso muito louco, mas realmente a Europa é muito, muito diversa culturalmente falando. Number 19. Although Europe has just over 10% of the world's population, it is responsible for a quarter of the world's GDP, roughly 23.5 trillion US dollars. If Europe was a single country, this would mean they'd have the highest GDP in the world, placing them only slightly ahead of the United States. Number 20. Again, if Europe was a single country, it would be the third most populated in the world, behind China and India. Remarkably, it would have roughly half of the population of both of these countries. Number 21. Now, this one really did take me by surprise. Kazakhstan is partially in Europe. It is a transcontinental country that sits nicely in Central Asia, but as it's so large, it stretches across to Eastern Europe, where around 10% of its population live. Number 22. There is a rainforest in Europe. Yes, Europe's climate allows for rainforests. One of the last remaining is Perakika in Bosnia. The 3,500-acre forest is a reserve of UNESCO's World Heritage List. Number 23. Ten villages in Scandinavia have the shortest city or town names in Europe, just one letter long. The city name, which means small brook or river in all Scandinavian languages, is found nine times through the countries. Number 24. There are more bicycles than people in the Netherlands. Cycling is so popular in the Netherlands that 84% of all Dutch own at least one bicycle. With 22.3 million bicycles in the country for its 17 million residents, bike traffic and congestion is actually becoming a problem. Number 25. É impressionante, é impressionante porque como tem tanta bicicleta lá, né? 
Tipo, é impressionante porque é, parece que o preço é muito acessível pra tanta gente ter, assim. Incrível. Eu só quero citar uma curiosidade. E nos vídeos que a gente reage, muito se fala o congestionamento causado nos Estados Unidos devido a muitos carros nas ruas. A gente percebe aqui nesse vídeo que tem o mesmo problema na Holanda, só que em relação às bicicletas. Sim. Monaco has the highest life expectancy, not just in Europe, but the entire world. Maybe it's because of Monaco's beautiful sun-drenched location along the French Riviera. Maybe it's because of the popularity of the Mediterranean diet, found to be one of the healthiest in the world. In any case, the people of Monaco live on average to be 89.4 years. The highest not just in Europe, but the entire world. Number 26. Wow. Now, which company do you think has the highest value in Europe? It must be one of Germany's car companies like Volkswagen, right? Nope, it's LVMH, or Louis Vuitton as it's more commonly known. It is the most valuable company on the continent, at a market cap of around 350 billion US dollars. LVMH controls around 60 subsidiaries that each manage a small number of prestigious brands. Number 27. Now, Europe isn't really known for its tall skyscrapers. It is more of a continent filled with ruins and castles. The city in Europe with the most skyscrapers belongs to Moscow at 65, placing them 29th highest in the world. Number 28. Heathrow Airport in London is the busiest airport on the continent. Pre-pandemic in 2019, nearly 81 million passengers passed through. However, Heathrow was dethroned in 2020 and 2021 by Istanbul Airport, which actually opened in 2019. Number 29. Iceland is the least densely populated country in Europe at just three people per kilometre squared. However, the majority of the country live in its capital, Reykjavik, which has a population density of 480 people per kilometre squared. Number 30. Meu According Deus, to visual é capitalists' gente. estimations, London is the city with the highest GDP in Europe, at around 1 trillion US dollars, placing them fifth in the world and just above Paris. Number 31. Adam. Europe is home to the deadliest and longest war in recorded history. World War II at around 80 million deaths and Reconquista at around 781 years. The Reconquista was a period in the history of the Iberian Peninsula of about 780 years of war between Spanish Christians and Muslims. Number 32. On the 11th of August 2021, Sicily in Italy recorded the highest ever temperature in Europe at 48.8 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 33. And on the other end of the spectrum, the lower the lowest temperature ever recorded in Europe was minus 58.1 degrees Celsius or minus 72.6 degrees Fahrenheit in Russia. Number 34. According to the Eu não sei se eu me surpreendo mais com a temperatura tão quente assim na Europa, coisa que é difícil imaginar, né? Porque isso aqui pra gente no verão é muito comum, a gente chega até 56, 60 graus, muito comum. É a sensação térmica, mas lá é difícil de acreditar. Ou você fica pressionada com esses graus negativos, um inverno tão forte. Meu Deus! The Economist Intelligent Unit Ranking, Zurich is the most livable city in Europe and the seventh most livable in the world. Number 35. At around 75% in 2021, Norway is the country with the highest share of plug-in electric car sales in Europe. For reference, Iceland comes in second at 45%. Number 36. Just one of the world's seven wonders of the world is found in Europe. The Colosseum, located in Rome, Italy. Likewise, yes. just one of the world's seven natural wonders is also located in Europe. And technically, it isn't even Europe. It's in space. It is the Northern Lights, or the Aurora Borealis. Number 37. The richest country on the continent when measuring GDP or economy size goes to Germany at around 4.2 trillion US dollars, placing them fourth ah. in the world. Number 38. When it comes to GDP per capita, however, Liechtenstein is the richest in Europe, and in fact, the world. In 2020, the United Nations estimated this value to be around 180,000 US dollars. Number 39. The country with the most Nobel Prizes in Europe belongs to the UK, 
at 138. It must be noted, however, that Frederick Sanger received this prestigious award twice for his work in chemistry. Number 40. The top three countries in the world with the most islands are all in Europe, and they are all in fact Nordic countries and neighbours. This is Sweden, Norway and Finland. They have 268,000, 239,000 and 179,000 islands each, respectively. Number 41. At 136, Germany has the most billionaires in Europe. Per 2 million people, there are roughly 3 billionaires. To put this in perspective, the US is the country with the most billionaires at 724 and 3.9 billionaires per 2 million people. Number 42. Germany not only excels in wealth, it plays pretty good football too, or soccer depending on where you're from. With a total of 4 World Cup wins, the German have the equal most World Cup trophies in Europe. Nós, nosso país venceu muito mais do que os outros países. Isso a Europa não nos superou. Tying with Italy. However, Germany have four runners-up medals compared to Italy's two. Number 43. Excluding Russia, Germany is the highest CO2-emitting country in Europe. Its CO2 emissions are estimated to be around 800 million tons, making them the sixth highest emitter in the world. For reference, the UK is the wow. 17th highest emitter at around disso. 370 million tons, so more than half. Number 44. At 3,790 kilometers, the Volga River is the longest river and the 16th longest in the world. Situated in Russia, it flows through central Russia to southern Russia and into the Caspian Sea. Number 45. Oh, Camp Nou, Barcelona FC's football or soccer stadium, is the highest capacity stadium in Europe at just under 100,000. Although this stadium is unbelievably huge and impressive, it still does not feature in the top 10 in the world. Number 46. Germans sure do love a museum. At 6,741, Germany has by far the most museums in Europe, the second most in the world, only to the US, who have a mind-boggling 33,000. Number 47. At around 34%, Apple just beats Samsung at being the smartphone vendor with the highest market share across the European continent. The UK is the country with the highest market share of Apple users at 53%. Number 48. The euro is the official currency of 19 of the 27 member states of the European Union. It is classed as the second most important currency in the world, only behind the US dollar. Number 49. Spread across 52 acres and located in Poland, Malbork Castle is the largest castle in Europe and of course, the world. It is also considered the largest brick structure ever built with human hands. And finally, Eww. number 50. Bulgaria is the oldest country in Europe and the only country that has not changed its name since it was first established. Kosovo, on the other hand, is the youngest country in Europe, while Serbia and a handful of other countries such as Russia and China do not recognize Kosovo's independence, the International Court of Justice ruled that Kosovo is a sovereign nation in 2010. So there we have it, 50 fun facts about Europe. Did any of these catch you out or take you by surprise? Let us know in the comments below. Incredible. Adoro esses vídeos sobre curiosidades porque a gente sabe tantas coisas, é, é tantas coisas misturadas, então a gente acaba adquirindo muito conhecimento. Mas o que eu gosto muito também é porque, como eu falei, é, a Europa é um continente muito grande, com muitos países, e, e cada um é muito diverso, é muito diferente. E é sempre maravilhoso ver essas diferenças culturais e as arquiteturas e a qualidade de vida deles também. Então, é sempre surpreendente, é sempre muito agradável. Concordo com tudo que você falou e, realmente, eu, eu acredito que a grande magia que está na Europa é justamente a particularidade que cada país tem com sua cultura, com sua história. É, afinal, a Europa é conhecida como o velho continente. Então, ali tem países muito antigos, muita história, muitas coisas influenciaram o mundo é, a partir das histórias e das coisas que aconteceram ali. Então, realmente é inacreditável. É, e a gente fica muito maravilhado com essa cultura, com 
a forma como a Europa se transformou e influenciou o mundo. Né? E a gente consegue perceber aqui, através disso, é... a grande importância que a Europa tem no mundo. Sem dúvidas. Mas essa foi a reação desse vídeo. Portanto, aproveite a oportunidade, considere se inscrever no nosso canal, clique no gostei, compartilhe esse vídeo, faça mais sugestões nos comentários. Muito obrigada por assistir esse vídeo e nos vemos na próxima reação. Tchau!